Hello again, Knights fans, and welcome to our weekly check-in with the FDU men's basketball program. I'm Tommy Mead, head coach Greg Heranda. Coach, a one-in-one week last week. We enter the final third of the season. You're eight and four in conference, tied for first place. Before we get into those specifics of those games, have you taken stock at all of where your team is at this point in the season? Yeah, I, I think we're getting better. You know, obviously the last game, uh, and we came out really prepared for St. Francis, Brooklyn, and but we just literally ran into a team that played a really, really good game, made some tough shots at the end of a clock. Um, and then conversely, we just can't come back all the time. You know, you can't go down. You know, we were down 54-50, had a loose ball, and they get it, go up seven, make another three. We, we just, we, we've got to get leads. So we're improving. We're learning how to win games, but now we have to learn how to get leads and keep leads. But it's very hard this time of the year because there are no surprises. Um, everybody plays really, really hard. Everyone's prepared for us, and we're prepared for them. So, But to be in first place, and we have the tiebreaker right now with St. Francis uh, and with Wagner, but we have Wagner coming up uh, in a week or so. Uh, but I'm just really happy that we're um, improving, having great practices. Uh, but we have six you know, huge games to go and we just got to take them all one at a time but now thank god Tom, there's three on the road and three at home you know a few days ago it seemed like that you know we played you know four straight road games and we played three so far and we've taken two out of three which is which is good but um it'll be good to get back to the rothman center but before that we've got to go up to bryant and play a, a team that's really really going to be hungry for a win and a really talented team that beat us here now, you mentioned the comeback. You were successful coming back against Wagner last Thursday. Right. Tyrone O'Gara with a spinning layup to tie the game at the end of yes. regulation. And then three straight three-pointers, a 9-0 run to close out overtime, including right. the final dagger by Earl Potts from the corner. Yes. What would you see out of your team that night? Well, we could do a whole show on the last minute and 36 <laughs> seconds of that game. I mean, that just showed what the team is made of, the resiliency, the talent. Darnell Edge made the first three, and then Earl made the next two. Marcus took the charge. We got rebounds. You know, so we're down on the road against a really, really good defensive team. I mean, Bashir Mason uh, and Wagner, they, they play spectacular defense. But we get three straight stops and score nine unanswered points and get out of there. And, and at that point, we were on the top of the league all by ourselves. So that was one for the ages. Um, if you were in the building, which you were, Mr. Langford was there, Sean, and uh, we had a number of alums in the building. It was really, really special. And then to turn around and have to go back to Brooklyn. Like, we wanted to sweep New York. We beat LAU. We beat Wagner. But to beat Brooklyn and Glenn's team that day, we just didn't have enough. And in this league, I was in the Ivy League uh, for a number of years. And the Friday, Saturday, I think is tough. The more I'm in this league, the Thursday, Saturday game, that Saturday game is tough for, for a lot of people. But last week, I think all the home teams won on Saturday. But, um, you know, uh, that to answer your question, that was I've been coaching for 30 some odd years. That was one of the great, great finishes and wins uh, in, in my history. And I think in Fairleigh Dickinson's history as well. Now, let's talk a little bit about Mike Holloway. He had a big game against Wagner, 17 points, 10 rebounds. Yep. He also played very well against St. Francis, Brooklyn, really neutralized some of their bigs on the interior. And they have a good post game with Andy Fall, who's the reigning defensive player of the year. Right. What have you seen out of Mike the last couple of weeks? You know what? He just had right behind us the best practice he's had since he's been here. So you talk about him. I think we're the third youngest team in America. And I think we might be the most improved team in America from last year to this year. And Mike epitomizes that. I mean, he just he's a sponge. He listens. He learns. And you can't teach his size. But it not, it's not only his size. It's his quickness. So he's got a, you know, a package that's really, really special. And, and as the year's gone on, he's improved like our team. But uh, he's a monster. He's really, really hard to guard. He arguably could be one of our top three passers on the team. Out of the post, he finds people. Um, so Mike has uh, is really helped us a, a great deal. And, but all our freshmen, like Darnell coming off the bench, Gus Gassan Nemi um, at LIU, Mike Schroback made a huge three in the first half. You know, Duran Curry's been playing well. There's not a, a guy on our roster that hasn't helped us get to the point where we're at in games. Usually, uh, we call it the white team here. The white team is our, our, our second team. Usually, those guys help you win games in practice. But when we put them on the floor, um, they produce. And I'm very, very 
uh, happy about that, that we have depth and we have guys, you know, from one to now Miles is kind of out physically, but from one to 12, that, that can help us at any moment. Now, six games remaining. You have three of them are actually going to be televised to the NEC TV package, including right. the two this week, Thursday night at Bryant, a 9 p.m. tip. Yep. A little unusual. So yeah. first, what do you see out of the Bulldogs? And second, how are you going to help your team adjust to kind of that late start? Well, you know what? The, the nature of the beast now, in co when you're a college student, no one goes to bed. And, you know, <laughs> no one, the parents out there might be a little surprised, but they don't. no one goes to bed until like, you know, 12, 1. You know, like most kids are night owls, and, and so is our team, so... So, you know, I think it'll be exciting. It's an MSG game, I believe, at Bryan. So, the, you know, it, what, what it does, it makes the day longer. So we'll shorten the day by letting them sleep in a little bit. We have a study hall um, scheduled. Our shoot-around is later in the afternoon. So we just kind of back the day up. But Bryant's a team that is just really, really good offensively. And they've just – the few of the games that we've been fortunate enough to win, they haven't been. So – and you know, Tom, you played – uh, in this league, in, in baseball, basketball, it's it's timing, it's breaks. Bryant's a very, very good basketball team, and um, they're going to be really hungry. That's a, that's a gym when they get people in it. It's exciting. So it's going to be a very, very difficult uh, um, game to win. But, you know, they beat us the last time here. So for us, it's, you know, we, we kind of owe them because they beat us, and that's the way a league should be. I think our league epitomizes co college basketball this year that anything can happen on any night. There's no clear number one, and there's no clear uh, team that's not number one. It's, it's, it's wide open, and I think uh, the NEC this year is ex as exciting as any league. And I know my friends read the, the box scores and read the standings, and they, they're like, oh, my God, like we're in first place, but you're not that far from not being in first place. And, uh, but we're looking at each opponent uh, singularly. Um, and, and this week, you know, Bryant – is really, really good. And then Robert Morris just put 89 points up on the board. So they're going to be tough on Saturday. But we're looking to get on the bus here in a few minutes and take a deep breath, uh, but be ready to uh, roll it out and play really, really hard, really fast um, tomorrow night at, at 9 o'clock. Coach, thank you very much for joining us. You can watch the game on Thursday night at 9 o'clock tip. It's available on MSG or NECfrontroad.com. And then Saturday's game, Right here at Stratus Arena vs. Robert Morris is a 6 p.m. start, also available on MSG and NECfrontroad.com.